Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if it's your first time. Today I'm going to be working on my jelly plate um, and I'm going to be doing some print transfers using um, old magazines. Um, so I've had a bit of a play of this morning but I didn't realise that I didn't uh, record. So um, yeah, I, I did this a few weeks ago uh, while I was around my friend's house um, and we only managed to get one to work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on fast forward um, so I'm not going to talk through this uh, and then I'm going to put some music on and then I'm going to see you at the end and we'll talk about the findings and how I found it and also what works best, what doesn't work um, and we'll we'll explore together but really excited, can't wait to like just get in there and do it um, so yeah so like I say we're going to um, ju I'm just using cheap acrylic paints from the works so nothing special um, you know I'm, you could even use acrylic paints from the pound shop or other places so yeah let's get started hope you enjoy
to do so I did um, a few with yourselves uh, let me see if I can remember where it started I think it was here yeah. um, so this morning um, what I've done is I'd done these um, but didn't realize I hadn't uh, pressed record so I'll show you what I found out with the first lot and I did um, do one oh, I should have really sorted this up before I um, yeah, before I sort of came back on so this was the first one that I did and, as you can, and I was sort of pleased because when I pulled it up you could see that it had worked but if you actually look it's not that clear um, and I did use a lighter colour first and then the darker colour so I then um, did this one um, and I used a pink with the dark blue and again it hasn't really shown up very well um, this one I was super excited when I did because it really did look as though it was going to come out and it, it's of a flight you can just to say see it faintly um, and I used um, a silver paint for that one and I thought oh, it will be, it'll be really nice and again it hasn't really come out clear um, so I tried it with the pink um, and then um, a green on top and it didn't work. But I still love the effect and I'm still going to use them. That's just where I braid. Um, and then I did a yellow with the black and I thought, right, this, I'm obviously doing something wrong. Um, but you can just as soon see the pattern. So I changed it. I then decided, well, what about if I did the black first, then the yellow? And, oh my word, 
look at that that is just absolutely awesome I mean you can see nearly all the details so I, I got really excited so then I did it again I did the black first and um, then I did like a, a metallic color and it's not as clear as the yellow one but there's still like elements on it that I mean look at that that's just brilliant they're gonna make such brilliant um, backgrounds so again my bra um, and then I tried with a brown and a green uh, so some pages I found do work and other pages and some pages don't so I think it's hit or miss um, but I still like um, you've got a few words and there's a circle there so I still quite like that so then I tried black again but this time with an orange background and as you can see you can make words out it's so much better and then um, that's where I stopped because then I came on um, to you guys. So, um, no, sorry, this was the last one. Um, and that's when I realised that the camera wasn't rolling. So that's what I discovered this morning. So I found that if you do a darker colour first with a, a lot of lighter colour on top, it works absolutely fantastic. So then I came on to you guys just to show you that um, I did on this one, I did the silver first followed by the purple and as you can see there is no detailing whatsoever um, so I just wanted you to see that. Um, I then did this one which oh my god you can see the rabbits, isn't that awesome, I'm going to use that in my journal. Um, so again, you, you, I, that you've got the black background, um, uh, the black, sorry, for doing the impression and then I did the orange background. Um, so I turn these over, it should be in the right order. Um, and then we did this pink one with the brown and again it didn't quite work. You, you've got traces of um, words and stuff. And then again I did another orange one with the dark background and again it just, I mean you've got little bits but it, it didn't work brilliantly. And then I decided because on these ones, um, I did watch a video and I can't remember which video it was but they said that glossy paper which this is um, doesn't work very well. Uh, you can use anything but photo paper. Um, and obviously I wanted some cardi bits because I'm thinking of stamping some flowers and making some flowers of the, the cardi bits. So I turned it over and wow, like, oh my God, how awesome is that? I mean, that is just, yeah, that is perfect. I love it. Well, it's not perfect, perfect, but it just, the detail seems to be so much better on that. So really pleased with that one. Again, that's just where I did my bra. And then I did it again and I thought, oh, probably just a fluke. And I did it again. I mean, uh, which way does it go? Yeah, that way. Look at that. I mean, that's just a perfect print of a page. So again, just, so I loved it. So I had to do it again. And then again, I love this. Wow. So yeah, wow. Um, and then I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little imprint of a unicorn as well, which love. Yeah. So really, really pleased. Um, so then again, that's my bra. So then obviously I had to do it again and it didn't work out as well on this one. I was hoping that the, the hello would come out, sorry not the hello, the smile would come out a bit more on that but I still love it. This actually, even though I know it's a card, it actually looks like a camera. That is going to be absolutely perfect for junk journaling. So um, yeah, love that. And then I, I ran out of bits of that. So I'm going to be buying some more photo paper because I just think it, it, it's fab. So then I did a purple with um, a white on the top and I quite like that. It just looks very distressed. Um, here I did the purple again, but this time I did um, the rose colored metallic that I had. And again, I'm absolutely loving all the details that's come out of it. Um, and then I worked with some browns and yellows and I mean you've got the little faces there which are brilliant um, that one didn't work as well and then that one um, was more or less me just cleaning up my pad um, but then um, what I did also in between which you'll have seen is I did these card bases so I did this one first. So I was just taking remnants off my jelly pad and I think they are just absolutely 
gorgeous backgrounds. Um, and then there's this one that again I, I just absolutely love. I mean I'm going to cut these down to 6x6 because I work better on a 6x6 card or even I might even if I can split it into two cards because yeah just look at that background. Um, and then I did this one right at the end because uh, I had I had it out and I thought you know what I'll just do very vintagey which is why I did this sheet. Um, I wanted it like browns and stuff and then thought I can just distress it with my distress ink and do something very vintagey with that. So that's today's experiment. I am absolutely chuffed a bit. I mean I absolutely love all of these and I'm going to be using them in my videos. Um, I'm probably with all the sheet paper I'm going to make another junk journal. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware but each month I'm going to be doing a giveaway of two things that I make um, and a pocket letter. So I thought um, uh, while I was playing actually do you know what I might make another junk journal uh, for one of my giveaways for which giveaway I don't know yet um, it it depends when um, I do it and I will show the process of me making it as well um, I'll try uh, a couple of different ways so I think I sewed it last time um, so this time I'll <coughs> excuse me um, I think I sewed it along the the edge so it was like across there um, so I think I'll just do the signatures and then I'll do it so that you can remove the signatures out of the um, the journal itself. So I will, I'll do that. Um, so my next video to do with the jelly plate I think is going to be making these cards um, because I mean they're just fantastic and I have so many ideas. So I think that's going to be my next video. Whether it'll be one video or two, I don't know yet because it'll all depend whether or not I do actually split these into um, two cards or whether I split them into one. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing me play with um, uh, the jelly plate again. And I, I did get carried away, but I found that the first time that I did it, I did get carried away as well. Um, but I've loved doing it. There's going to be so many more. Uh, sorry about the the noise of my watch I can't wear my watch here because it sort of digs in the back of my hand so I have to wear it like old school it's how we used to wear it in school um so I have to wear it just there so it keeps uh hitting off the glass there so I do apologize for that um anyway I'll stop waffling on now uh thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber hit that bell uh, so you're notified when a video is uploaded and hopefully I will see you very very soon in my next video but until then happy crafting bye